Gülen is one of our columnists. He explains his point of view, especially about how to interpret Islam in modern age. In Istanbul, we met Abdul Hamid Balici, one of the top editors of the Gulen Media Empire. He says Gulen's embrace of Western values and global trade helped Turkey develop into a prosperous Islamic democracy. Until early 90s, the Islamic movements had the problem with the concept of secularism, the concept of democracy, and with the other universal concepts. Yeah. So Gulen was one of the pioneers in the sense that he said in 90s, in the early 90s, mm -hmm. said that Turkey will not turn back from democracy. And democracy and Islam are, of course, compatible. And today, his ideas are spreading through Arab Spring countries. Does his message have resonance anywhere else? Now there are a weekly number of visitors coming from Arab nations to see what is this Gulen movement about? They're coming here to of course, investigate they are this? Investigating, they like are making from where? study tours from Tunisia to Egypt, from Jordan to Morocco. You know, many uh, social movements or Islamic movements started to put all the blame on the West, on occupiers or outside factors. But th what makes Gulen different is that he started to put some of the blame on us. And he said that our number one enemy is ignorance and the number one cure is education. So, you know, when you hear all of this, and it sounds so wonderful, some people say, oh, it's too good to be true. It can't be true. I don't believe it. I'm very suspicious. You've heard this, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. I mean, this is the fate of good people sometimes, that they are treated that way in many cases. Treated with suspicion. Unfortunately, unfortunately.